Gentlemen, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. We've got a bunch of tyrants today. A bunch of cops who decided to try to put a dude in jail. In fact, they did put a dude in jail for parking weird. Oh man, you're you're parked weird in the cul-de-sac. So so we better call the cops and we better throw your ass in jail because whatever reason. How about we start implementing training in police departments where it's called anti-tyrant behavior? How do we stop that? You know? Once you strap the gun on, drop your ego, have integrity, be a good person, understand that you are not in charge of someone's freedom. You don't just get to sit there and have a powwow about how we're gonna get this guy in jail. I'm Chief Brandon Berryhill of the Broken Arrow Police Department. On May 29th in the 1200 block of West Quincy, officers responded to a parking violation complaint. During the investigation, it was later deemed to be a disturbance. As a result, a homeowner in the area was arrested Internal review systems alerted my office of the issue, and I ordered the immediate release of the homeowner. The officer in question has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the internal affairs investigation. He's pissed because I'm trying to get this yard done and he doesn't like how I'm parking. Okay. Even though I did allow room for everybody else to park because there's nowhere for me to park without blocking somebody's mailbox or their driveway when that's the yard I'm trying to get to. He's mm -hmm. trying to tell me I'm supposed to park down by the elementary school. But I did accommodate, make sure my phone's out, I got space to get around, and as you saw, his own vehicle, he was still able to get out of his own driveway and block the whole freaking section off. You can't be parking there, how the hell am I supposed to get out of my driveway? If you don't fucking move it, I'm gonna call the cops. He pokes me, jabbed him right in the face, right in the chest. He jabbed you in the chest? Yes, sir. You wanna file uh, assault battery charges? Yeah. Talking to the RP, who's the, the lawn guy over here, he asked if he'd start weeding again, I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, I start talking to him, and he's like, yeah, he's on a tirade about how I'm blocking the cul-de-sac. He can't get out of his driveway. He says at one point, Richard takes his finger and shoves it into his chest. I said, well, do you want to press charges for the assault and battery? And he's like, yeah, well, not if he doesn't want to do anything. Kind of a let me think about it situation. All right, well, sure. I mean, if, if y'all want to say somebody being touched, like a finger is assault, whatever. But in my opinion, that's a little bit soft. Is the guy hurt? Is he going to have to go pay hospital bills? You know, like something that's going to really affect his life or is his ego just hurt? But then these cops sit in their vehicle and they're literally trying to get this guy on this assault charge. And it gets so bad to the point where the cop says, you know what? It would give me great pleasure if we could throw this guy in jail tonight. So basically, lawn guy, Mr. Nunley is like, listen, if uh, if he doesn't want to do anything, if he if he just wants to drop it, I just want to drop it. Even the firefighter neighbor right there with the two trucks, he was trying to get in his driveway, Richard's blocking the entire cul-de-sac, won't let him in. And he comes out and he's like, yeah, Richard's a fucking prick. And I'm like, yep, we're he aware. is. Yeah, we're very aware. So uh, really at this point, I was just going to see what all traffic charges I have on Richard. Um, illegal parking probably would be my guess. Because I asked him, I was like, were you trying to leave it all? And he's like, no, he was just blocking the cul-de-sac. So I'm like, okay. Um, which I can write him a citation for because I saw that. And then we just need to determine whether or not he wants to press charges for the assault and battery. Oh, Richard hit him? He took his finger and shoved it into his chest. Okay. Yeah. So it would bring me great pleasure if we could take Richard McMahon to jail tonight. Bro, you need to figure out something else to find pleasure in. You're going to throw this dude in jail for a parking issue and like doing a little pointer into somebody's shoulder? Really? Is that where we're at with policing nowadays? I mean, you know how much crime is going on in the major cities, yet we're, we're focused on this. Like, this is helping the community out. I mean, y'all are acting like a bunch of schoolgirls in this. And you know, that's starting to become a common thing nowadays. The feminization of men. Men caring more about which OnlyFans they're subscribed to instead of being in the gym. And it's one of the reasons why we have Black Forest supplements on the channel. Nowadays as a man, it is extremely hard to make sure that everything is optimized in your body. Mainly testosterone. Because there is so much plastic in everything which creates more estrogen in a man's body. We're just completely at a disadvantage. Now y'all know that I am a huge proponent of NMN. That is still available on Black Forest website. But they came out with NMNH, which is just as good. It's just one molecule different. Now, this replaces NAD plus in your body, which is anti-aging. It helps fight against age-related weight gain. And to be honest with y'all, I feel fantastic whenever I take this. So, Black Forest has always given y'all an excellent deal, but I asked them to do something special for y'all 
for Father's Day. This is gonna be a 48 hour promo. It's gonna be a flat 30% off. There's gonna be a link below the video. If you have not tried this stuff, hands down one of the most important supplements I take. They end up going to knock on the door and this is where it just gets wild. Hello. Uh, just wanted to let you know that the trailer is legally parked. Oh. Uh, so I can go park anywhere in the cold sack the way he's parked? The way he's parked is legal. The way you were parked when I showed up was not. So I need to see your driver's license so I can issue a citation for blocking the roadway. All right, cool. So let's go over the first thing that you did wrong, Mr. Officer. You're talking at him in a very aggressive manner. This is over a parking citation. He didn't just hit a woman, all right? The guy's just explaining that he thinks that he can park wherever he wants, which is not an unrealistic thought process in a cul-de-sac as long as you're not blocking a driveway. And it only escalates from here. I didn't block the roadway. I, yes, you did. I saw you when you, listen. Hey, 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 I'm investigating a traffic crime. You do not have the right to do that. You are hey, detained. You are detained. Come in my house. You are detained. For what? For the traffic violation I observed. You're I need to see your license. You're detaining me for a traffic violation. Yes, I am. Open the door. <laughs> You're detaining Come here. You are under arrest. You are All under arrest. All five of you. Yep, All you are under arrest. All five of you. Wow. You know what I've said before about how people let their ego get in the way of stuff? Listen to what you just said, sir. It's not a crime. It's a traffic citation. You being parked odd in a cul-de-sac? is a citation, you even said it. You said I need to issue you a citation. Now, let's be realistic about this. Once he shuts the door, you've got two options. One, you can do what you did, open the door yourself, go in there and try to arrest the guy, or you can just write the citation, you know his name and leave it on his door. But ego got in the way. I would have done the exact same thing. If I thought that I could park anywhere on my street, I probably would have been a little bit nicer in the beginning. I probably would have been like, oh man, if it's really an issue, if you get your panties that much in a wad, let me go move my truck. But if that didn't work and they really wanted to give me a citation, I would have slammed the door in your face too. Give me a citation then. Put it on my door. I don't need to have more of a conversation with you. Dude, this is over a traffic violation. You're acting like you just killed someone. And then it gets even better. Then they shove this dude against the wall and just threaten them. Guys, why did you assault me? We were attempting to investigate the crime and you tried to shut the door on us. Other sheep. <laughs> what crime? The parking violation. Come on. What? Hey, hey. I'm going, guys. I'm hey. going. I'm going. Hey, real quick. We did this once. Do not do Ow! it. Hey, stop. This can go either which way you choose. I'm All choosing right? to go with this. You can walk out there or you can keep fighting us I'll and go, go back to the ground. Do you understand? Come on, Pepper. Yes. yes. All right, let's go. What are you doing, man? He's cooperating. He's walking. You just shoved him up against the door for no reason and threatened him. Why, because he's, he's not walking fast enough? Y'all are a bunch of tyrants. Y'all would fit in great in the Chinese police department. This is sad. This is wrong.